The following message is transmitted at the request of the Atlanta Police Department. A inmate has escaped from the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta. The inmate is 51-year-old Jeff Kensington. He is a white male born on June 16, 1972. Weighs 200.9 pounds. With brown hair and green eyes and was last seen wearing a bright orange prison jumpsuit with the numbers 32,579. It's believed that he is traveling on foot. If you see this man do not approach him as he is most likely armed and dangerous and will try to kill or harm anybody surrounding him. Instead call 911 and make sure you give his exact location and his direction of travel. More information will be released when it comes available. Hey, pull the fuck over and get out of the fucking truck right now. Holy shit. You're the inmate who escaped the prison that I heard about last night. Please don't hurt me. I'm not playing games. Get the fuck out give me the fucking truck. And if you dare call the police on me, you're dead. I'll do whatever you want I just don't want to die. Take my truck. And take all of my money. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Atlanta Police Department. This is an update on the emergency alert that was issued 10 hours ago. Reports have come in that Jeff Kensington has been spotted and has stolen an ice cream truck on Northwest Techwood Drive next to the Bobby Dodd Stadium. Jeff Kensington is a white male. Born on June 16, 1972 weighs 200.9 pounds. With brown. Hair green eyes and was last seen wearing a bright orange prison jumpsuit with the numbers 32,579 and is currently driving a blue and white ice cream truck with Georgia license plate CGL 1288 and was last seen heading west on Northwest North Avenue. If you spot this person or vehicle do not approach them as this man is armed and dangerous instead call 911 and your call will be forwarded to the state police and highway patrol. Stay tuned to updates on this situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Hoover Police Department. At 1.20 p.m., 911 dispatchers received multiple calls about shots fired at Spirit Halloween in Hoover, Alabama. It has been detected that Jeff Kensington, the inmate that escaped from the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta, Georgia, and has stolen a ice cream truck, has escaped from the state of Georgia to Hoover, Alabama and was last seen entering the Spirit Halloween and begin opening fire on the employees and the manager. It's currently unknown how many people were killed but it's believed to be around 10. Jeff is a white male born on June 16, 1972, weighs 200.9 pounds with brown hair green eyes and was last seen wearing a bright orange prison jumpsuit with the numbers 32,579 and was last seen. Driving a blue and white ice cream truck with Georgia license plate CGL 1288 if you see this individual or vehicle do not approach them as this man is armed and dangerous instead call 911. It is unknown on what he is up to now. Stay tuned for updates on this situation. Good evening everyone. This is Fox 10 News. This is Dave here with some breaking news. Today, 
Escape in May Jeff Kensington from Atlanta, Georgia flees the state to Hoover, Alabama. And opened fire at the Sprit Halloween store killing 10 people this afternoon. It is currently unknown where he is now, but police and the FBI are on the hunt for the man. Recording to his past criminal record. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison for multiple counts of child abuse, possession of CP, resisting arrest and reckless driving back in 2012. My correspondent Jill is live at the scene of where the shooting occurred. Thank you Dave, I'm currently live from the scene where Jeff Kensington opened fire and killed 10 people at this Sprit Halloween store from what I was told. Around 1 in the afternoon Jeff entered the store and he takes a product from a shelf and when he went to go pay for the item the cashier recognized Jeff from the recent emergency alerts and so the cashier tried to grab the store's phone in. Attempt to call 911 and that's when Jeff began to open fire shooting 9 employees and the store's manager but all of the customers were able to escape and call the Hoover Police Department and once the shooting ended Jeff stole the product from the store and gets into his ice cream truck and flees the scene. It's currently unknown where he went or if he's causing any trouble but if you see the man or the ice cream truck do not approach them or try to confront the man as he is armed and dangerous instead call 911. This is Jill signing off. In addition, the Sprit Halloween store will remain closed for the rest of the year due to the mass shooting that occurred earlier today. We'll keep you updated with more information when it comes available. Civil danger warning for the town of Mobile active until further notice. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Mobile Police Department. An active shooting is currently taking place in the Skyland Park area in Mobile, Alabama. This individual is seen with a M16 rifle wearing a Grim Reaper costume. If you're within a one mile radius of the Skyland Park area you are advised to shelter in place this individual is very dangerous and could be attacking nearby neighborhoods. To shelter in place lock all doors and windows and stay indoors and don't come outside for any reason. And most importantly do not panic. Stay tuned for updates when it comes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Mobile Police Department. A child abduction has taken place in the city of Mobile, Alabama. It is believed that Jeff Kensington was responsible for the shooting because he drove the same ice cream truck with the same license plate to escape to scene and to kidnap seven children. The first child is eight-year-old Brittany Sanderson. She's a white female. Born on July 28, 2015 with dritty blonde hair blue eyes and was last seen wearing a witch costume. The second child is five-year-old Daniel Lopez. He's a white male born on March 18, 2018 with black hair green eyes, and was last seen wearing a Spider-Man costume. The third child is seven-year-old John Olson, he's a white male born on September 19, 2016 with brown hair and brown eyes and was last seen wearing a Buzz Lightyear costume. The fourth child is six-year-old Alyssa Martinez. She's a black female born May 30, 2017 with black hair green eyes. And was last seen wearing a Care Bear costume. The fifth child is four-year-old Jacob Kennel. He's a white male born on August 15, 2019 with blonde hair blue eyes and was last seen wearing a Batman costume. The sixth child is 10-year-old Gracie Chadwick. She's a white female, born on October 17, 
2013 with blonde hair blue eyes and was last seen wearing a cheerleader costume and the seventh child is five-year-old David Rodriguez he is a white male born on April 21, 2018 with brown hair green eyes and was last seen wearing a Paw Patrol costume. All seven children are being stored in a blue and white ice cream truck with Georgia license plate CGL. 1288 and Jeff Kensington is a 51-year-old white male born on June 16, 1972 weighs 200.9 pounds with brown hair and green eyes and was last seen wearing a Grim Reaper costume. It is currently unknown where Jeff went as of now but if you see the abductor or any of the children or the ice cream truck do not approach them. Call 911 and all residents in the city of Mobile are strongly advised to shelter in place and keep any surrounding children safe as possible. And most importantly do not panic. Panicking will make the situation worse than it already is. Stay tuned for updates on this situation. Civil Emergency Message from the Mobile Police Department This message is being transmitted at the request of the Mobile Police Department. A standoff between the police and Jeff Kensington is currently taking place outside of the Mobile Convention Center in downtown Mobile, as previously mentioned Jeff Kensington is wanted for escaping the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta, Georgia, Grand. Theft auto of a ice cream truck causing a mass shooting in a spirit Halloween in Hoover, Alabama which took place in the past week and causing a mass shooting in the Skyland Park area in Mobile, Alabama and for the abduction of seven children which took place in the past two hours as of 9.09 p.m. he was cornered by police and has not given in and has threatened to fire shots if his demands are not meant if you're near the area of the scene, remain in your homes. If you're on the road stay away from the area of the mobile convention center and do not try to come after the man as he is armed and dangerous the police will handle the situation. Stay tuned for updates on this situation. Administrative message, from the Mobile Police Department. This is an update on the situation that occurred an hour ago. At 10.06 p.m. Jeff Kensington the man responsible for the shootings and abduction of seven children has committed suicide during an hour-long standoff with police all of the seven children are safe and will be returning to their homes. It is now safe to leave your homes and resume any. Normal activities your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency all emergency alerts previously issued have expired this includes all operations under the emergency alert system we will return to normal programming.